Hey guys, still here. Welcome back to War on the Sea. Quick recap. I'm still hunting down a small task force of two destroyers and a bunch of transport ships somewhere to the south of Guadalcanal. I still have to reinforce the Rental Islands after that convoy that I just mentioned dropped off supplies and troops over there. And Task Force 7 is going to do just that. So we're going to manage the cargo and we're not going to manage the cargo because they're still not in range. Fine. Set a course and get your ass over here in less than an hour. In the meanwhile, the Washington's task force is heading back to the AO of the Enterprise, where also Amberjack, Grunion, uh, Barb and Albacore are arriving. The Big E is still around and she is still going to be sending out aircraft up until the point where it gets nighttime and she can't do that anymore. Sneaky boys are coming home. The Growler is going to be resupplying. And I'm really looking to either capture Guadalcanal and turn that into a forward operating base or to do that with the Rental Islands. Because either of those positions would make really good resupply points. But in order to get there, you need a lot of fuel and I currently cannot afford that. So let's continue on and see if I can launch aircraft already. No, not swap positions. Launch aircraft. I can. Let's go with the Dauntless Seas. Set a course somewhere over there. Task Force 14 is also still hunting down this convoy. Uh, they can do 22 knots and then some. It's the Tuscaloosa and the San Diego, which did have a recent run-in with a submarine, which they won. And now they are, well, they're kind of awaiting the arrival of the Washington. Now let's, there we go. No, that's a different task force. It's the two destroyers and the light cruiser. Okay, well, we can take those boys on. Go to tactical. We are going to do an airstrike against them. We are heading on a course of uh, due north. Zero, zero, zero. And I believe we should see them down below us pretty soon. There's the Tuscaloosa down there. Go this way, gentlemen. Where is that group? Maybe I should have sent my aircraft in slightly closer to allow them to be on top of that group. Because I'm not sure if the game spawned them in. I think they didn't. Okay, new plan. Set a course directly towards that task force. Let's see if we can do this. Here. Tactical. Anybody down there? No. The hell? Ah, there you were. Hello, gentlemen. All right. Um, as I have been instructed in the comment section of the last vid, attack from the flank, because that generally works better. I'm just going to do that separately with all the bombers so that they don't attack in a V-wing, but that they all attack singular. Uh, Dauntless is 5, 6, 7, and 8. Attack target 3. Dauntless is 9 and 10. Actually, and 8. Attack target 2. Now, these guys have already been damaged. I'm not sure if that damage has been sticking. Yeah, it has. Moderate damage, heavy damage. So this should be the end of them. And allow the Enterprise to operate a bit more safely. As you can see, this destroyer has taken severe damage already. She is turning to avoid the pending airstrike. Shooting back at me. Now, if the bombs don't do it, I can always do a strafing run at them. And see if that will do anything useful. But I'm rather hoping that my airstrike, just a bombing run, is going to put all of these guys down. Hit. Seems like only one hit so far. This seems to have missed everything. And that was one hit. Wow. That was a bit... Oh, there we go. Two direct hit by a bomb and two hit by a dud. Great. Everybody, listen up. Get the hell out, because I'm seeing some smoking aircraft. And I would really like to get these aircraft out intact so I can attack again. Heavy damage to all. Heavy flooding, moderate flooding, but no kill. Crap. TF-14, we now know where they are. Hunt them down. 
And you guys can RTB because you need more bombs. Enterprise, set a course. We can already launch aircraft again, but I'm just not sure what to launch at this point. Maybe a few fighters so that I at least have some scouting capability. Just zigzag here a bit. Now, this convoy here should be home. Minus cargo. There we go. All right, not in New Orleans. The Type C3 troops. Uh, supplies. More troops. Oh, you're a Cimarron. You cannot transport that. You're an oiler. More troops. Uh, more supplies. Yeah, and we'll take the troops there. Okay, I guess that's it. Task Force 7. Make your way to the Hebrides quickly because we need those supplies before we lose that base entirely. In the meanwhile, Sticky Boy is coming back. Yeah, I don't need to do anything else here. This one's still heading home. I still got one lonely Simran over there, uh, an oiler. I'm still looking for whatever was out here. Because there is something that comes by every now and then and does an airstrike against the group here. Just sent the Wildcats out on patrol. Also something I've never used, but it's supposedly a feature. I can launch aircraft from over here in the form of BF-17s. I'm oh, sorry, B-17Fs. Uh, they have a range of 30, no, 580 nautical miles. That's all the way to there. So, if I understand this correctly, they should be able to go there, bomb the shit out of it, and come back. But I don't believe that you can do land bombardment with the B-17s. You can do naval bombardment. So, new plan. I'm going to call them in. And just have them over here. And maybe I can vector them to a target. Enterprise ready to launch again. Very good. Speaking of launching aircraft, I suppose Tuscaloosa could also do it. There we go. Find me that convoy. All these submarines here. Now, I know I have a lot of command points. 79. I Oh, that's not what I'm expecting to find, but it's still something I'm looking for. Um, I'm saving up for another aircraft carrier. Now, I need you to intercept this, because that is valuable. Shadowfish or Kingfisher keeps shadowing these guys. There's the other group. Hmm. There's something to be said for either engagement. These guys are heavily wounded. Why are you heading back to me? Enterprise, launch aircraft. I know it's a bit late, but we can still get these guys airborne before nightfall. I know I keep changing my mind about Task Force 14 and the other guys, but there's a whole wave of subs coming in here, so these guys should be fine. Uh, tactical. Yeah, see the Grunions even in the battle already. Down there. Alright. Um, let's split them up. Dauntless is one, two, three. Attack. Dauntless four, five, six, and seven. Attack target two. Dauntless eight, nine, and ten. Attack target three. This way they're all breaking off. They all have their solo targets. So once and for all, I want to get rid of these guys. Attack factors once again not ideal. But I'm not sure if you can get an ideal vector because they keep maneuvering. 
They keep turning, of course. Because I could be coming in perpendicular to them, which, as I've been told, is the better vector. But they immediately start turning to port or to starboard to throw you off. Which is exactly what they should do, of course, but it makes attacking quite difficult. Miss, miss, miss. Hit on the cruiser. Another miss on the destroyer. Another hit on the cruiser. That should put her down. Two hits. Three hits on the destroyer here. I'm not even sure. <laughs> I think I sent nothing after target one, actually. Everybody target to target one. Just do a strafing run against target one. Two sinking. Excellent. That's their just No, that's the cruiser that's done for. Three sinking. Come on, strafe it a little bit. <laughs> All these guys coming in. That does look pretty good. Alright. The question is, is that enough? Mm. Aircraft one down. Oh, crap. Okay, fine. Do another attack. Or are you guys out of ammo now? I don't think they're out of ammo yet. How's the damage on that ship? Heavy. Heavy damage, heavy flooding. Well, can we just get it over with then? Maybe at the expense of one more aircraft? Maybe two though, because these two are both smoking. This one's smoking, this one is. Okay. Look at them all go. <laughs> Things are getting peppered. <laughs> well done, guys. All right, now we're gonna veer off. Everybody out. Can I just leave? Yeah. <laughs> That's not cheaty at all. With an aircraft strike, just fine. Critical damage. Command points gained 11. Very good. Because an aircraft carrier is going to set you back 100 points, I think. Let me check. New C. That's an air unit. Uh, that would be the Yorktown class. Hornet. 90 points. Yes, I can buy another aircraft carrier. It's just that I'm not ever going to send an aircraft carrier unescorted. That's not happening. But the Washington is still here. So I can tell the Washington to wait. I can buy the Yorktown, field her, or sorry, the Hornet, and have her join that group in five hours, because the chances of anything happening here are remote, if at all. So it should be possible to get the uh, new aircraft carrier over to the Washington, have her join that task force, and then make sure that she gets there safely, and they're being here to the front line. As that's happening, we're gonna chase down this convoy, I'm going to put those destroyers down. What? Oh, right. That's that single surviving destroyer. Ugh. Well, unfortunately for you, I have the Wildcats and the Dauntlesses, so we're going to send absolutely everything and their mother after you. Can I already tell them to attack? Yes. Okay. This thing is going to get attacked by absolutely every single aircraft that I have. There we go. Also, my ships. Uh, that would be Jenkins, Chevalier, and O'Bannon. Target it and engage. Radar active.
These guys are all attacking, yes? I want this thing on the bottom. Dauntless is leaving the... Why? Oh, you guys just came back. Okay, fine. But the Wildcats are just doing a patrol. They didn't actually get the attack order. Go. Or maybe they did get the attack order, but they were just spinning around to lose altitude. That might be it. Where's the target? Straight in front? Really? Ah, there. Yeah. Okay. She's coming straight at me, so she's unable to launch torpedoes. That makes me feel better. The more observant among you might have noticed how I am... Uh, um, not identifying the target. <laughs> it seems to be safer than just getting it wrong every time. Chevrolet engaging, O'Bannon engaging, and Jenkins. Yeah. Firing solution. 48. Okay, maybe I need to identify it. Was that a Wakataki by any chance? By the way, they instituted this filter, so I can set it to destroyers only. That makes it a hell of a lot easier. It makes me wonder why that was not part of the game by default. Here comes the air attack. Come on. I love the sight of these air attacks. Just... <laughs> Well, we damaged her even more so than she was already damaged without losing a single dauntless um I wasn't using a dauntless uh, the wildcats anyway I was working on ID angle like that I think it was a wakataki The next thing they need to do is sort these things alphabetically. Gun tour, yeah. Target Wakataki. Solutions going up. 40, 42. Range is 7,600 meters. The DD should be more effective than this. Hmm. One of the wildcats seems to have a smoky tail. The rest of them seem fine. Well done, guys. Nice flyby. At this point, she should have critical damage. Nope. Heavy damage, moderate flooding. This thing has been bombed to hell and back. And she just keeps surviving. Jenkins... I need you and your destroyer group to attack and eliminate. Enterprise, peel off. Full ahead flank, 37 knots. Move towards the target. That way. Yeah, of course I cannot move fast because we are still waiting. Or, well, no, we're not waiting. We're just actually attacking. Uh, line ahead, that's fine. Oh. <laughs> Dauntless is leaving the engagement area, that's fine. Solution 12? That bad? Yeah, there we go, radar is now active. Solution 40. Hold on, you're coming back in. Is your rudder stuck? Or are you really so brave that you really want to attack? That'd be quite something. Range, 5,800 yards. Solution is now 82, 84. Hit. Splashes all around.
Ammo status? Perfectly fine. Torpedo status? We're still sailing around with half a torpedo complement for some reason. I still haven't resolved that bug, apparently. Okay, she's taking more hits now. Get rid of it. Solution 96. Things one big smoke plume. I'm actually surprised there are still sailors alive to do damage repair on that, because after all those strafing attacks, you'd think I would have at least thinned the crew out a little bit. If not a lot. Speed 21. She still has engine power. Switch to narrow spread. I think she just lost engine power. Manual firing solution. She seems to be listing hard to port. Five knots. Four. Three. She's done for. Another hit. I know it says that we're firing armor piercing, by the way, but we're just firing high explosive because we don't even carry armor piercing on destroyers. Boom. Resilient little thing. There she goes. Done. Okay, so that got me another whole two command points, sinking the... Actually, was it a Wakataki or was it not a Wakataki? Losses, enemy losses. The way down. Yay, Wakataki class destroyer, look at that. Right, so now the other guys here. I'm not sure if they're already in range, of course. 14 nautical miles, they're definitely not in range. Okay, catch up to them. Keep that aircraft overhead before we lose them. Enterprise ready to launch aircraft. Yeah, right. Well, not really, though. Okay, now they have an engagement. Go. This is a great way to get rid of all your ammunition. Fighting transports. I wish I was kidding, but I'm not. It can take a lot of shells to take out a transport. I'm going to cut out part of the video here, because it's going to take me a while to get into range in these things. So let me do that, and then we're going to open up, and hopefully, without taking too much of our ammunition supplies, kill them. A few minutes later, we've engaged the enemy. We're currently at a range of 16,000 yards to target 8. I have set my guns to spot. This way, the guns are going to fire, and then they're going to wait and see what sort of effect they had. And that should improve their firing solution, which is now 80%. This way, I'm hoping not to waste too much ammo on these targets, so that Tuscaloosa and later on San Diego, which might or might not be in range, is not going to expend all of her ammo. I can actually rejoin slash join the task force of the Washington, which is what I originally had in mind for these ships. So it's going to take me a little while longer to get these guns accurate, because we're still maneuvering at 16,000 yards, but at least by doing it this way, I'm not wasting that much ammo. See, that should inform the gunners that that firing solution was not that great, and that they need to adjust it. If not <laughs> slightly, then quite a bit farther forward. All the Kamugawa Marus are just trying to head northeast, and their escorts which I have identified as two Hatsuharus, believe it or not, um, they're heading north, northeast, away from their protectees. One of the Hatsuharus has already been receiving end of an airstrike and has been moderately damaged. She's still trying to fire. I'm not sure if it's going to be going well for her, but, well, gotta trust or gotta <laughs> like that vigor with which she's fighting. A little bit of damage, minor damage to Kamigawa Maru. Oh, the other one's also been uh, damaged a little bit. Now, this is a fight that I think could be made more interesting. Because it just takes a long-ass time. 
It's not really something that I can speed up. At least, I wouldn't know how. Because there's no time compression available. And I'm just trying to get my guns into range. Uh, my guns, by the way, on the Atlanta class, which can range out to 17,000 yards. So effectively, we're in range. Spot, high explosive, and fire. Also targeting target 8. Um... I'm hoping that I can get a decent amount of damage in, but I'm charging at them at 32, 33 knots. And they're heading away from me at about 16 knots. So I'm really approaching them at effectively 16 knots-ish. And that's just taking quite a bit of time. And again, <laughs> it's just nothing you can do to speed it up. So uh, I'm going to end it here. And uh, by the time that you're going to be watching the next episode, let's assume that I have sunk this convoy. Because it's really not going to be that impressive. Or you know what? I'm just going to do the battle off screen and I'll show you the results. Oh boy, that was tedious. That was actual, real time, 40 minutes that I just had to cut out of the video. They really made to need to make these fights between destroyers or between, well, any kind of attack ships and convoys a hell of a lot smoother because this is... It's just you sitting around waiting until your ships actually hit something. It's not unusual for me to actually go and make a cup of coffee when my ships are shooting something or browse Reddit or whatever. Stuff like this needs to be made smoother. Um, I'd say that when you have taken down the two destroyers... One of which actually didn't get taken down, but just ran away. <laughs> the other one got sunk. Um, once you've taken down the destroyers, maybe the game should just auto-consider the enemy ships lost. The only thing you need to take into, into account there is the amount of ammo that you would need. Um, subtract that from my active ships and be done with it. Don't make me sit here for 40 minutes as my ships are shooting transports. Anyway, um, on that low key, this is going to be the end of the video. Uh, next time we have another 34 command points to spend. Which, well, I don't think I need more submarines at this point. But maybe a few more escort ships for the Yorktown. Or the Hornet. Whatever. I think it's the Hornet. <laughs> See you guys soon for the next part.